Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgamerman.com. This next question is, how much system memory should you have? Two gigabytes, four gigabytes, or even more? Well, before I answer that question, you really need to understand how the operating system addresses memory. Vista 32-bit can address four gigabytes of memory, but all that memory is shared with memory mapped input output devices like your video card. So for example, if your video card is one gigabyte and you have four gigabytes of system memory, that will leave you only with three gigabytes of system memory that the operating system can address. The best bet is to go with Windows Vista 64-bit because that operating system can address up to 16 terabytes of memory. And please don't believe all the rumors you hear about Vista 64-bit being unstable because today there's a ton of 64-bit driver support. So is there a big difference between having, let's say, two gigabytes and four gigabytes of memory? There is. If you're having a lot of applications open or using applications that want a lot of memory. Also, if you're really into some of the bleeding edge games like Crisis and some of the upcoming games you want to play like Far Cry 2, Crisis Warhead, Stalker, Clear Sky, those games really do require four gigabytes of memory. And some of us also like to play these games and then dump them, minimize them or task switch and then answer an email, uh, browse the web, and then just uh, pop the game back. And doing this, of course, keeps the game in memory, so you're going to need uh, more memory to do that. But four gigabytes of memory is a safe bet. Please don't go with any less than four gigabytes of memory in a new system these days. That is really the recommended minimum amount of memory you should go with. And also go with Vista 64-bit. And if you can afford it, go with some kind of performance memory, either DDR2 or DDR3. And to be safe, DDR3 is the new memory standard. And if you want to future-proof your purchase, go with a DDR3 memory and a matching compatible DDR3 motherboard. I hope this answers your question and keep your questions coming.